Yes, the inauguration of uh, the president-elect of the Republic of South Africa is provided for in the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. Uh, our Constitution uh, demands that uh, once an, an election is held to elect members of the uh, National Assembly and the National Council of Provinces, uh, collectively called Parliament. So if you elect members of Parliament, the Constitution provides that within 14 days of the announcement of the results of the national elections and provincial elections, the National Assembly should be convened by the Chief Justice in order to swear in newly elected members of Parliament, starting with members of the National Assembly. You shall remember that the President of the Republic of South Africa is elected on a party slate. He is number one on the ruling party's list of candidates for the National Assembly. So he will take an oath, like all other members of the National Assembly, on the 22nd of May in Cape Town. Uh, he will take an oath as a member of parliament. Once he takes an oath as a member of parliament uh, before the chief justice uh, and all other members have taken an oath, there then will be an election of the speaker of the National Assembly and that election will also be chaired by the chief justice. Once the speaker is elected, then he or she assumes the chairpersonship of the National Assembly. And thereafter, the president of the Republic of South Africa is then elected amongst members of parliament. Uh, in other words, you must be a member of the National Assembly to be elected a president. Once a president is then elected by the National Assembly, the president must immediately resign from the National Assembly. So he is no longer a member of the National Assembly when he resigns. And the Constitution provides that within five days of him being elected as president of the Republic, he must be sworn in or inaugurated as president of the Republic of South Africa. He has to be inaugurated as president because he has to swear an oath of allegiance to the Republic of South Africa and to the Constitution and be formally inaugurated and take an oath of office. Only when he takes an oath of office can he become president. When he is elected in Parliament, between the 22nd, uh, that's Wednesday the 22nd of May, and the 25th of May, he is not yet known as President of the Sixth Administration. He is the President because he is President now. Otherwise, he is President-elect. Only when he takes the oath of office, does he become the next president?